Whether or not you see momentum, keep on showing up, good things take time. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Motivation Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Bello. In this episode, we are going to be talking about the life of an entrepreneur, specifically a video that I recall from a few years ago that I really love and that I think is worth watching or re-watching if you've already seen it before. But before I jump into that and sharing the video if you're watching on YouTube or you can hear the audio if you're on the podcast, I just wanna share, obviously entrepreneurship is not all roses and sunshine and rainbows. The game can be pretty tough. I actually just heard this on a podcast yesterday. I shared it on my story if you followed me on social media. And the guy, Miles Beckler, I listened to his podcast. I've met him before at a conference. I think I've mentioned it before. He's talking about how entrepreneurship is really difficult, mental, emotional, on a physical level. It's very time consuming. You have to go do something for three years that you're going to doubt is going to work every day for the three years that you're doing it kind of a weirdly worded way of saying it, but what he is saying here is that his belief is that it's gonna take at least three years to make something successful. You're going to have to commit to the process and the journey. You have to be in it for the long haul. And the thing is that when that happens, you actually are not able to know, is this going to work? Is this not gonna work? You're just having faith in the process and consistently showing up without any belief of, is this even gonna work? But to go back to the video that I mentioned earlier, I first saw this video by Patrick Bet David, if you're familiar with valuetainment on YouTube a few years ago. And I always fall for this motivational stuff. I still do, I used to, I still do. And I honestly truly believe that this is very helpful. You can't just motivate yourself and watch this kind of stuff endlessly. You have to actually take action and learn applicable things as well. But I do feel like an energy and a fire inside of me. It honestly really does hype me up. And so I'm going to share the video real quick. Most people only pay attention to the final product of a successful entrepreneur. They say things like, I can never be like them, or they got lucky. What most don't see is what they've overcome. All the struggles, the daily rejections, the heartaches, the betrayals, the rumors, the criticism, the empty bank account, and all those lonely nights while trying to make their vision a reality. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They learned from a proven mentor every day. They improved every day. They did all this even though they felt like quitting every day. And eventually, they became who they are today. But I love that video because it shows if you're just listening to the podcast, I'll link it up in the show notes. You should go watch out, watch the video as well. It does show him door knocking and taking consistent action. He actually put the video up in October 2015. And as of April 2022, it has 5.4 million views. And again, it's just going through the struggle, door knocking, it shows him getting rejected, showing up every single day. You eventually see a bus driving by with his ad and his logo, his company on there. And then at the very end, he's driving a Ferrari and he parks it and kind of throws his keys to the valet guy. I actually do have a picture of him with that Ferrari. I don't know if that was maybe the day he was filming it or I guess just the car he was driving at the time. But I have a picture of him on my vision board with a quote that he mentioned at the very end. And it says, in the end, your success will speak for itself. Very inspiring content. I love hearing the motivational stuff, but I know I need to learn the applicable stuff as well. The tactical, show me how this works. And so I just want to share with you, while it's great to motivate yourself and everything, I think you need a healthy mix of content, a good balance between both motivation as well as the practical applicable stuff. So a great motivational book, for example, might be 10X by Grant Cardone. If you listen to that on Audible, you get super hyped up. You want to do more. You want to 10X all your results, your action, your efforts, et cetera. 
And then a great practical book on like the step-by-step -step how to do everything that's recommended in the book might be something like Profit First on how to manage your finances and how you should, you know, have separate categories for, you know, pay yourself first, this happens next, pay your business expenses after. If you check out both of those books, I highly recommend them, but I also just wanted to really just share, get a good mix of both. So beware of the social media highlights. I've talked about this before. People tend to show the highlight reel and you gotta be weary because you're not sure. Are people serious? Are they real? Are they faking it? A lot of people make it seem easier than it really is. You're not really sure what they do or how they make their money. I have a few friends like this from just like, are they kind of like faking it or are they actually doing it? You know, social media friends that I've been in touch with and they're living a large life, it seems like, but I'm just not sure how much of that is hyped up. Are they faking it till they make it? Have they already made it? I don't know. And it's very tough to know what's real or fake. And so I try not to hate on people if I don't know the truth, because it's really difficult unless you're looking at like bank statements or tax returns to know, are these people really doing as well as they say they are? But I'm also cautious. I know that a lot of people are flashing like that rented lifestyle, they're leasing a car, or many times they have toys in the driveway or a house and it looks great and flashy, but really they're kind of showing liabilities. They don't own them. They owe a lot of money on those things or those toys. And so my main message for you today is to just stay focused, know what your end goal is, live within your means, invest in yourself and in your business. I, I do invest in myself pretty heavily. I am pretty quick to spend money when it comes to an improvement on my business, you know, customer client appreciation, that kind of thing. And then I try to be a little slower to just randomly throw money at something that I don't really think is a problem. You know, a great thing that I heard is that if you're about to buy something, if you're about to impulse buy something, let it sit in the cart for 24 or 48 hours. Like if you're gonna get something on Amazon that you think it you need, 24 or 48 hours later, come back to that and think about it. Like, do I actually need this? Has my life been fine without? it and in many cases you'll find that you don't really need it or you don't really want it at this time and so that's a good method instead of just impulsively buying or pulling the trigger on something like spend some time think it over maybe bounce ideas off of someone that you know like and trust or a significant other and then keep showing up you know you got to keep showing up every single day like patrick bet david mentioned in that video whether or not you see momentum, keep on showing up. Good things take time. I just love that he sums up the life of the entrepreneur in 90 seconds again. I mean, I, I got a little emotional when I watched it again. Before I just played it for you, I watched it like yesterday just to remind myself and kind of take some notes of what I wanted to talk about today. But seeing him knock on the door and then the person's like saying no, waving him, you know, waving him away and seeing the struggle, him hanging his head, you know, the past due, the, the empty bank accounts. Like if you're in the audience and you, have taken the entrepreneurial leap, you likely know how that feels, where you're getting rejected, your, your bank is going in the wrong direction, you're spending money, your last dollars on investing in yourself for that next thing, you know, the next conference, the coaching meeting, the uh, life coach, whatever it is. It's uh, it's a little stressful at times, right? I know money isn't everything, but like, damn, you, you kind of need it to live, right? So it can be very stressful. And then it's really cool at the end where you just see he knocks on that door again and the guy kind of just like smiles and says, all right, come on and let's hear your pitch. And then at the very end, he's also driving that Ferrari and you can kind of see the late nights, they paid off the consistency, the door knocking, the um, never quit mentality. So you gotta keep on showing up. I hope you found this message valuable. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're on YouTube, if you're on Apple Podcasts or any of those platforms. I think you can also leave reviews on Spotify now, apparently. So I really greatly appreciate it if you were to take two seconds to do that, if you have not already. If you think a friend might find some value, feel free to share it with them as well. So that's it for this episode. Make sure to connect with me, chrisbello.com or chrisbello underscore on Instagram. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh,